Hi everyone, it's Becca from River Heights Vineyard. I am so excited to begin our new month, May, together. In the month of March, we learned that joy is finding a way to be happy even when things aren't going the way you'd like. In April, we talked about peace. And peace means proving that you care about people more than about winning the argument. And in May, we're going to be talking about patience. Patience means waiting for later for what you want now. And it's so hard. But actually, God wants you to have patience and he will help you. Our Bible verse is Psalms 27, 14. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Nerve. We're going to play a game that will help us be patient. We're going to start by cutting up small pieces of paper. And on those pieces of paper, you can write actions to do. I chose animal actions like hop like a frog and gallop like a horse, fly like a bird, stuff like that. But you can do any silly action that you think of. Then you're going to choose another couple pieces of paper and you're going to write the word wait. <laughs> then you're going to take all of those pieces of paper and mix them up. Here's where the fun part comes in. You're going to put them all in a bucket and then you're going to stand in a circle with the people that you're playing with. Each one of you is going to take a turn pulling out a card, and then you do what's on the action. This one says gallop like a horse, so then I gallop like a horse. But this one says wait, and whenever you get a wait card, you still, you stand still. It's going to be really difficult, but I know that we can do it in this game. So, you can play with me for a couple rounds, or you can go ahead and pause and get the game ready and play at home. When you're done playing, check back here, and we'll do a wrap-up. Okay, mixing up all my cards. Uh, this one. Bark like a dog! chosen easier animal actions. Wait! Ten! Okay. Let's do another. I hit the wall. That's hard. Wait! Well, 
you get the idea of how to play. Go ahead and pause the video if you haven't already and play another couple rounds at your house. Check back in for the debrief afterwards. That game involved a lot of waiting. And sometimes in our lives, we have to wait a lot. Whether we're waiting for our birthday next week or Christmas or even summer. It's finally coming. It's so warm today. The key thing to remember is that when you're waiting and it feels like you can't wait any longer for something, think twice. When you think you can't wait, think twice. That is our bottom line for the week. We're going to go back and visit a story in the Bible from Jacob and Esau. Last month, we saw Esau was able to make peace by letting go of what he thought was fair. We're going to go further back in time, and we're going to see the story of how Jacob treated Esau unfairly. Because Esau couldn't wait and didn't have any patience. I hope you liked today's story, and I really hope you had fun during today's game.